Today you are watching a video that covers a very important motion in the ocean known as ocean currents and how those currents influence the formation of weather systems. As you go through this video, be sure to write down the information that you see, but also make sure that you listen for the extra explanations and you need to write down that information as well. Now in this weather unit so far, you guys have learned about convection. You've seen demonstrations of convection in the air and previous unit you saw convection in water. And now we're going to talk more in depth about that convection on the surface of the oceans known as ocean currents. So what an ocean current is, it's a continuous circulation of seawater that is driven by wind. As you can see from the picture, this one here, The origin of an ocean current determines its temperature. So warm ocean currents start or originate around the equator and cold ocean currents originate or start around the poles. How ocean currents move is based on their temperature and the rotation of Earth. So you all know about convection and how Warm fluids rise because they're less dense, and cold fluids sink because they're more dense, and the same is true for ocean currents. Warm ocean currents are less dense, so they're going to move up and down away from the equator. Cold ocean currents are more dense, so they're going to sink down from the poles towards the equator. They also you'll notice that they also have a slight turn or bend and that is because the earth rotates and because they have to turn once they hit continents. Something that you need to know about ocean currents is that they carry a large amount of energy around the world. You all have learned about the different specific heats of land and water and by now you should know that water has very high specific heat so it takes a long time to heat up and it absorbs a lot of energy. So the sun hits water, water absorbs the sun's energy, and then it carries that energy with it to whichever place in the world that current travels. So there are two big factors about oceans that you guys need to remember that are why they play such a large role in weather systems. The first is that most of the earth is covered by water. In fact, over 70% of the earth is covered with water. The second one is that, as I stated before, water is very effective in regards to absorbing and storing thermal heat and energy. Not only does it absorb a great deal of energy, but it also releases it very slowly. So as it moves, it's carrying that energy that it's holding with it. So how oceans play a role in the formation of weather systems is that they have this effect on coastal areas. They're carrying that energy as they pass areas along the coast and that energy transfers from the ocean to the atmosphere around those coastal areas. It also plays a role in providing energy to fuel storm systems including tropical storms and hurricanes and you will take notes over that in a separate PowerPoint. So because this video is focusing more on ocean currents specifically in weather as opposed to the storms let's talk about that effect on coastal regions. So like I said before Ocean currents do have a major impact on weather, especially around coastal regions, because it carries that energy to these areas as it passes alongside them. Some examples of this would be some of the predictable patterns I have listed here. So moderate temperatures play in around places near the ocean compared to places that are further inland at the same latitude. For example, if we were looking at say the United States a location around the club around the coast is going to have more moderate temperatures you know not as low lows and not as high high temperatures compared to somewhere further inland and it's not around a large body of water where they have extremes very high temperatures during the day 
very low, low temperatures at night. There are also two um, currents that you guys are probably going to need to know more than any other ones. That would be the Gulf Stream and the California Current. The Gulf Stream is a warm current, so that's how you know it originates around the equator, and it passes along the east coast of the United States and the west coast of Europe. And what the Gulf Stream does is that it affects the temperatures of the areas it passes. It gives these places warmer temperatures because it's carrying that warm energy. It also brings more frequent thunderstorms, specifically if you're thinking about Europe, which is known to be a place that's very cold, the Gulf Stream affects Europe in that the places it passes right around there, they have more moderate temperatures. It's not as cold as it would be further into the continent. The California Current does the opposite, or it has the opposite effect. So the California Current, which is here, travels along the west coast of the United States. It is a cold current, so it originates at the poles, and it has the opposite effect. It brings cooler temperatures to the west coast of the United States, and there are fewer thunderstorms because of this cold current that is passing through. So those are just some examples of how ocean currents can influence weather. Please be sure to write down what you saw. Don't forget to include those explanations that I gave you. If you have any questions, ask your teacher, and that is it.